All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome into today's edition of In The Game. I am your host, Hustle. As always, we are going to dive into the crypto gaming markets today. As the market finally took a little bit of a pullback, we saw a rip through that 70,000 range. We got up to 73,000 on Bitcoin. Right now, we're looking at 68,000. Now, there's half the people that are going to be like, this run is over. Sell everything. But there are some who are now going to double down on their positions. And I genuinely think there's a lot of good altcoin positions to be able to take today on this dip. We're going to run through the market. We're going to go through some updates on some different projects with various news events this week, as well as some projects that are still crushing it in this market today, including one of our biggest positions that we got into last summer, making some big announcements today. So without further ado, let's get in the game. And guys, help us out, like the video, and subscribe, as always, to the channel. We are getting close to that 94,000 mark. We're really trying to push for that 100,000 subscriber mark here on In The Game, bringing you the most action-packed, alpha-packed shows on YouTube in the crypto gaming niche. As well, shout out to all of our sponsors here on In The Game. We have a lot, but we have some super quality sponsors here. Vulcan Forged, Ultra, we have Dreams Quest, Game Starter, Uncaged, NordVPN, Africa, Rare, Funtico, we have My Lovely Planet, Linea, Affin, and last but certainly not least, our newest sponsor, Moon Tropica. Now, I know the Moon Tropica community is going to be probably flooding these comments. We're going to talk about Moon Tropica here at the end, but they've been making some major noise. Their token is absolutely crushing it. So we'll go over that here at the end of the show. But without further ado, let's jump into the markets. As I said, Bitcoin's taking a little bit of a retrace. We see Ethereum taking a little bit of a retrace. But personally speaking, I think it's a healthy pullback. Meme coins have been going crazy. Meme coins typically, whenever they start going off like this, there is some sort of a retrace in the market to get people a little back down to earth. I think that was a given, but I still do I still do believe we are in this super cycle. And with the having still around the corner and the ETF just getting approved. I think we still have a lot of run ahead of us. So uh, that is what I am looking at as far as the overall sentiment in the market. But I want to go over the watch list. And first of all, before we get into the stuff that are great buys today, look at some of these projects in the green. And as I mentioned in the intro, one of our biggest positions last summer that we took was Echelon Prime at $2.77. And as we see here today, Echelon Prime is sitting at $22, up 22%, ironic there, on the daily. Now, first and foremost, we told you this was a good buy at $2, $4, $7, $10, $15. I genuinely think Echelon Prime has the opportunity to be the Axie Infinity slash ILV of this cycle. And when you actually look, this is the reason why. They gave a big time overview of what's going on with their AI game, Parallel Colony. It's going to be on Solana. That is such a bullish thing right there. Uh, you can pay Prime to create new avatars. Only avatar holders can earn. There's breeding. There's free to play. There's interaction with agents through chats. Avatars keep experiences even when traded. And the alpha will be out Q4 2024. This is a fully AI integrated game. And we've been saying this across our gaming shows and the AI shows. I think this is the top play in the market when it comes to that crossover for AI and gaming, which I think are going to be two of the three biggest niches heading into this next cycle. The killer niches this cycle, in my opinion, are real world assets slash deep in uh, gaming and AI. I think that that's hands down the top three niches so echelon prime checks all those boxes how about meta fighter this is one we brought you guys at a super cheap market cap uh if we actually look at let's look at the one year here this thing really wasn't doing much we brought it to y'all around here uh and this thing's absolutely been rocketing so shout out to the meta fighter team uh, I know that on playtoearn.com, they had one like game of the year. So they're doing a lot of cool things over there. But on the week, up 24%. On the month, they're looking pretty solid as well here. Uh, well, actually, it's kind of retraced over the month, but a big move today at the top of the charts. And then Moon Tropica, I mean, this is a brand new sponsor here on the channel. We'll talk about their at this move at the end of the show, but uh, not surprising to see them making these moves. And then Katana Inu. Now, um, we haven't talked about Kata in a month or so, but 
things have been so hectic in the market. But if you remember, we took positions here uh, on this show back in these ranges. And I mean, this has been absolutely crushing it now year over year. This is up almost 400%. And I love Katana Inu because it leans into the culture very heavily. Like if something's hot in the space, they work fast. They integrate it. As you see here, they now have Kata with hats in the game. So that's amazing to see because you know katana inu it leans into the meme coin narrative of inu right but then at the same time the game is actually like triple a level which i really love you can also play as the doge samurai inside of their game which is super super bullish and then you look here they also have a pepe and a shiba inu fighting each other here inside the game so this is one the markets have been moving so fast that it's so hard to keep up with everything. But when you look across the meme culture, it's no, no question in the world why that Katana Inu has been running at the rate that it has. So shout out to anyone who took that position as well. And then some other news across the market. I mean, it was a pretty big news week here in the gaming space. Despite the market pullback that we have saw overnight and, and, and yesterday, we see the ultimate high-stakes shooter joins Superverse. The next industry leader to integrate Super is Play Shrapnel. So Superverse just keeps on adding these quality partners. They're working with My Pet Hooligan, Off the Grid, Metalcore, as well as Shrapnel. So the Super token is adding more and more utility every single day. If we go through here, we look at the market cap. Um, I mean, I, genuinely, I still think Super is one of the most undervalued plays this cycle. It is still under a billion dollar circulating market cap. After everything's said and done, Elio is going to have this integrated into so many different games. I can't help but be bullish. We have Wilder World partnering up with Meta Gravity. So Wilder World, one of and probably definitely my favorite open world experience in the entire space. Their racing game, Midnight in Miami, is right around the corner. I had the pleasure to play it. It's absolutely stellar. They're thrilled to bring unparalleled levels of scale physics, complexity, and interactivity into Wyami. You can actually look at this uh, press release here on their Twitter, but let's go look at the wild token. It had a huge run this month. They partnered up with NVIDIA. I'm super bullish here, and I actually think this pullback, if you missed the entries, we got in here last summer uh, around the Apple AI or the Apple VR uh, sort of update. But this thing got all the way up here to 94 cents. It's retraced about 25 cents. I think it's getting down to another place where th this, this should be a buy, that next leg up in the market. And whenever people actually get in and play this game, I think you're going to see Wilder World definitely take another leg up. And then last summer, this, this show has a lot to do with positions we took last summer because – we see Wag Me Games coming through the door, partnering up with Base. I absolutely love this. Now we see parallel trading card game, Mavia. Now Wag Me Games building on Base. I think Base is a really, really underrated gaming chain. And obviously the Base token has all but been confirmed. I think that's definitely going to be on the way. That's going to bring a lot of hype and sentiment to the network. And there's only a handful of games building here on Base. So that is super, super bullish in my opinion. All right. Now let's dig into what you all came here for. Is it time to buy the dip? Personally speaking, if you've missed out on some of these positions and you're seeing now over the daily 12% dips, over the weekly, some tokens here are getting beat up like 32% style dips across some of these tokens. Is it the time to be adding to your bags or topping up or, or getting in DCAing to stuff that you felt like you missed a big run up, but you just didn't want to buy the green candles. Personally speaking, I think yes. I think this pullback's actually genuinely healthy, but I think the powers at play outweigh anything we've ever seen before. We've never had BlackRock pump in our bags. We traded Doquan and BitBoy and SBF for a first round draft pick in Larry Fink, who, who's just been crushing it and the institutions the inflows on bitcoin like look there will come a time where the bitcoin etf people sell and take profit but right now is not that time people are very very bullish across the general spectrum and retail is not even here yet so first and foremost yes i think this market is going to continue 
heading into the having. Absolutely. But number two, I think it is a great time to DCA into some of your favorite positions. We have BAI, which is a recent position we took here. Uh, it got up to like 18 bucks. It's now back down to 1240 and it's a low market cap token. So it's going to be pretty volatile. I think BAI is a great entry right now. If you missed the $7 entry that we gave right here on in the game, um, I think MixMob, they have a big collaboration coming up, big launch. Like I think MixMob is one of the best low cap plays on gaming in Solana. I think Domi Online is the, probably the best low market cap play in the Avalanche ecosystem. We see Champs, which is retraced $5 million market cap. With daily active users in mind, they're one of the most lively and active communities in the whole Ethereum community. So that's another one. I, I think Champs is definitely a pretty good position to take as of today. Speaking of Solana, let's just get down here and uh, Decimated. It's actually a couple Solana games here in a row that I think are really good buys. Uh, Decimated at an $18 million market cap. I've been speaking with their team. I've been seeing the updates. I've been seeing some of the things that are coming around the corner. They've been building for such a long time, but this game is quality. I've jumped in, I've played it, and I have to say uh, the loyal community here, they're going to be very happy with a lot of the updates that come around the corner. I think Decimated is a great DCA at this point in time in the market. I think Honeyland also... Honeyland is still my favorite mobile game in the Solana ecosystem. It's been beaten up. It got up to 20-something since. Now it's about 50% of a retrace from its all-time high. But I think people who are stacking Honeyland with some of the catalysts that are around the corner, I really think that that's going to pay off. I know some big-time smart money that has been accumulating during this dip. And I think it's simply a matter of time until we see this one take a bounce in the market. And then in general, like, crown third time games it got up to like a dollar 80 uh superverse was up at a dollar 50 we see wilder world was almost at a dollar vulcan was at ten dollars uh guildfy I, I think guildfy is one of the best plays in the market right now as far as longevity goes i think they're the closest guild style play to a beam and uh, beams a great accumulation today it's a little under two billion on the circulating market cap we saw Heroes of Mavia hit 10 bucks. It's now $6.50. We see Altura with their new creator program, which I think the creator program for Altura, which is called uh, Enter, is going to really, really bring people into the community. It's incentive structure. It's visibility. They had their recent partnership up with Superverse. I really do think that Altura is going to catch people off guard. Miria. And yes, there are a lot of tokens that I'm naming off, guys, but that is exactly why it's a great time there's so many discounts in the market right now when i see these dips at this point in the market you have to understand and it's it's something that elio says quite frequently and uh you know much respect because he's been through a couple cycles right elio says there will be dips in this market that make you want to sell out of all of your positions take massive profits but it's simply that's exactly what they want you to do. They want to try to shake you out a little bit so then they can get that next leg up. They can accumulate more. Who is they? It's it's the big institutions. It's the big money. It's the way that the market works, right? We know that in typical past historical times, Bitcoin is one of the most manipulated assets out there when it comes to some of these things. And now the institutions are pulling the strings. The, strings. the governments are potentially pulling the strings. So you have to always understand there could be a broader narrative at play here. I think this is just one of those dips during a huge rally, obviously from 25000 in September. Crazy to think. Now we're at $68,000. It's interesting. I think we have a long way to go. And personally speaking, I think now is the time to be scooping up some of these tasty, tasty dips on some of these top projects. Playable games, cap games is looking pretty solid. Uh, Magnum trading at a $2 million market cap. Cedify, shout out, has a, had a huge week, 40% on the charts. But it's an exciting time. I wake up on green days and I'm obviously like, yes, green number in my portfolio looking great. All of our positions paying off very nicely. But honestly, when there's dips in the market, I get even more excited. I can deploy a little bit of capital and things that I felt like I missed. So let me know what you're accumulating down below in the comment section. But whenever I am DCAing, I'm looking at the stuff that has dipped the most over the week in the 24 hours. I think BAI, I think Domi Online, Champs, Decimated, Honeyland, Superverse, Beam. I think those are some of the best positions you can take in the market right now. I think Guildfy is a phenomenal position. Altura. So 
that's some of the short list that I would be accumulating at this point in time in the market. And then let's look ahead to some of the things that are around the corner in the market. Xborg token is going to be launching here pretty soon. Today, they partnered up with Team Liquid. So they are doing some pretty big esports partnerships over here at Xborg. We saw the Entangle launch. I gave you guys that alpha. Uh, it's currently absolutely crushing it. Layer Zero style play. I think they're really going to turn some heads. So uh, shout out to that team. And shout out to anyone maybe who was able to get involved uh, right when it launched. But uh, it's been pretty stable since it launched. So that one did really well. And then we have my pet hooligan carrot coin. So I've been staking my hooligans for years. Uh, the Hooli community is so vocal and so lively and one of the most active. And this team has just been relentlessly building. I have to say, like my pet hooligan, they partnered up with Superverse. They have their token launch right around the corner. The staking ends this coming month here for the hooligans. So all those carrots that the holders are stacking, that's going to be cut off here temporarily before the TGE. But look at some of the backing here. You know, the experience of the team speaks for itself. I've met these guys. I've hung out with these guys. And I've seen exactly the level that they operate at, right? They've been from Disney, Pixar, Riot, EA, w, uh, or Warner Brothers. But then you see they're partners with Prime Gaming, Epic Games, NVIDIA, uh, YGG, Delphi Digital, Polygon, and look at their angel investors here. I think nobody really knew some of these connections, right? Mark Cuban, Tony Robbins, Paris Hilton. Like, I'm super excited for what's to come in the My Pet Hooligan ecosystem. And people have to understand it's a broader studio play. It's not just one video game. So keep that in mind when you're looking at a project like my pet hooligan and then let's move into some of the sponsor updates on today's show moon tropica our newest sponsor here undoubtedly a, a very quality project a super lively community they're truly bringing AAA games to the blockchain but on top of that they're doing web 2 and web 3 integrations they're partnered up with merit circle slash beam which i think is a very bull catalyst They've definitely been the hottest game on Beam over the last couple of months. You can go through their Twitter here, see some of their updates. But look at this freaking chart. I mean, if we show the yearly here, this thing is up 9,563% over the year. Uh, unreal. That is like a 95x, all right? craziness so they have so much momentum in this market i'm really excited to see how they continue to build on this i saw becker tweet uh the other day that he recently took a position in this you can, i think you can find that in his reply section on his twitter if you want to verify that but a uh, very interesting project we will be covering more here on the show and shout out to moon tropica coming on as one of our newest sponsors here on the show a Finn, one of our other new sponsors here, they're launching a play to airdrop campaign. Now, last month I did the play to airdrop show. I gave you guys all the airdrops you should be farming in the gaming space. I think this is definitely one. They just locked up half the supply for the Finn token for 10 years. So there's a big supply shock in the market right now. They have a play to airdrop coming soon in their buddy arena game, which is launching on the 21st of March. You can get your hands on both the bubble and the Finn token. I think the link is down below to sign up for this, or you can just come to their Twitter here, a Finn official. You will see this uh, yellow check mark, and you can pre register for the game here and start getting ready for the leaderboard and the play to airdrop campaign that a Finn is going to be launching here. Uh, and then, My Lovely Planet. Over the weekend, this is going to close, and the pre sell opportunity for My Lovely Planet. 40,000 active players here in this ecosystem, backed by Ubisoft, award-winning from the Unity. They're doing so much phil uh, philanthropy work, planting trees over in Madagascar. App store downloads are off the charts. The daily active users are very impressive. They've sent over the metrics, and we see the transparency behind this team. Right now is the last opportunity, April 2024. This is going to be listing at $0.10. Cents. You can still buy this at $0.09. Cents. They've raised $3 million here, but you can actually click in to buy now. When you get there, use code HUSTLE when you sign up and you'll be able to get involved in this pre-sale. Like I said, this is an awesome project with great initiatives, great reviews on the app stores, 
fantastic backing as well. It's a part of the Ubisoft incubation program. So whenever you see that, I definitely think that Ubisoft has been doing a lot better stuff in the space recently as well. Um, so it is a token on the Polygon blockchain and it's global and sustainable and built on Ethereum. So very bullish for what they're doing over at My Lovely Planet. So check that out down below in the description. And then last but not least, security data compromises are more than ever. All the groups that I'm in, groups that I run, people are always on the lookout for these types of things. Keep your data secure. Stay anonymous. Secure your IP address when you're navigating through the crypto space. Use NordVPN down below. VPNs aren't the end-all be-all. You could still use your error and get compromised via some link, but at least protect your backend, stay anonymous, and use a VPN down below. NordVPN with a 30-day money-back guarantee. I use NordVPN every single day when I'm doing these shows, when I'm navigating the space. So NordVPN down below, 30-day money-back guarantee. Better safe than sorry. Use a VPN when you navigate crypto. And that's going to be it, guys. I genuinely think there's a lot of good positions here in the market today. When you look at some of these charts, I think that a lot of the stuff is beaten up. Aether Games, Mavia, Dubs, Balance AI, Honeyland, Decimated. There are so many quality positions. Uh, Senate, for example, I think that Senate's going to do really well. And before we go, this one was a pain in the a for about a, a month right look at this base chart you know it's grinded down here to about 15 cents and we were accumulating like crazy here on in the game and now they launched their v4 update and it's up 100 percent this month it's sitting at 40 cents today so kudos to everyone on that win huge win here and still only a 30 million dollar market cap so guys like the video subscribe let me know what you're accumulating during this dip are you afraid do you think this run is over or do you view it like me as a great opportunity to top up some positions that have taken a little bit too much of a dip so guys like and subscribe i'll be back on monday as always play well my friends